Hi there, gorgeous. Today we're testing out another one of those products that Instagram made me buy. But this is actually something that I have been looking for and that I would use on a continuous basis if it is good. What are we talking about? Leg makeup. Finally, someone has created it. Now I know there have been other leg makeup products out there, but I've tried those too. We're talking back in the 90s when they were coming out on the infomercials and all that. They aren't worth a crap. Don't get me wrong, I love my pale skin. I do. But when you have pale skin, everything shows through. I bruise like a peach. I am a klutz. I have veins that are very visible. And so I'm a little self-conscious of my legs, especially in the summer. And it would be nice to have a product that I could apply just as a thin layer over my legs to disguise all of those little imperfections that make me a little self-conscious. It's no different than your face, really. We cover everything from acne to scars to age spots to discoloration on our face every day, most of us. So why not do it for our legs too? Now they claim that it is waterproof, that it will not transfer onto clothes. It's quick drying, long lasting, and very easy to apply. We're gonna test that out. FYI, if this is the first video you've seen from me, I am 31 weeks pregnant. I can barely put on my shoes anymore. So I don't know how this video is going to go. You may hear a lot of huffing and puffing from me because <laughs> bending over has become a task in itself. Before we get started here, I'll show you what the product looks like up close. It looks like spray paint, like a spray paint can. And it even sounds like one too, which is hilarious. All right, directions say to shake it really well. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it says to spray about five inches from your leg. I'm going to do that. Ooh, look at that color. Well, that's gonna be interesting. And then I'm going to use my hand to blend it in because they say that you can wash this off with soap and water. So I'm not really worried about it staining my hand. Not like with sunless tanner. Hmm, it's an interesting color. I will give it that. It's uh, very orangey. Just taking little squirts of it at a time and blending it in. But it's looking like foundation on my legs. That's exactly what it looks like when it goes on. I'm gonna go finish my legs because it looks like I need to take my shorts off. When you're applying this, it gets all over everything. So I would not recommend being dressed when you are applying it. Final verdict with the stuff. We'll start with the pros, because I'm a positive person. I like to focus on the things that actually did work with this stuff. It does dry very quickly. Just like they say, it is 100% waterproof and it does not transfer onto your clothing. Really love all of those qualities about this product. However, I thought I would like the matte texture of it, but it looks, <sighs> make my legs look old. <laughs> I don't, the matte texture just brings out dry skin. And I also noticed that in little areas on my legs where I hadn't applied enough lotion last night, it was pulling out those dry patches and making them very visible. I would prefer more of a semi-matte finish with this potentially. I like matte on my face, but not on my legs. Now I picked up the shade light, but the color that came out was very orange in my opinion. It didn't match my skin tone and it was like a really bad sunless tanner that you apply to your legs. Thankfully, you can get rid of this stuff, whereas with a sunless tanner, you just have to wait for it to fade. So not too happy with that. It did d disguise all of the imperfections on my legs pretty well. I mean, I would feel confident in the coverage level that this provided. And like I said, it is 100% waterproof. I got stuck in a Florida downpour with this on my legs recently, and I'm very happy to tell you it didn't move once. And I'll show you up close here what I mean with a spray bottle so you can see that it really does not move. It's actually really hard to wash off. When I do wash this off my legs, I have to use a loofah and about three rounds of dish soap just to get it off. So it does stay put. Now, was it easy to apply? Mm, not really. I mean, I first applied it with my hand, as you saw in the demonstration, and it appeared cakey and streaky in some areas around my leg. 
So I thought for the second leg, let me try it with a makeup sponge, see if that makes a difference. But no, the application was even streakier with the makeup sponge during application and it started to shed. It's hard to explain what it did, but it almost dried too quickly in some patches and then became a scaly mess for blending and the streakiness got worse and worse the more I used the sponge. So the only real way to apply this product is with your hand, but like I said, you get more of a cakey, very noticeable application when you do use your hand. Now I did try my tanning mitt and that did the same thing that the makeup sponge did. It didn't really blend it in and I feel like it dried the product too quickly making it harder to blend in ultimately. And when you read the instructions on how to apply this stuff, just so you know, it's confusing. This is what they say. They say, do not spread by hand to preserve the texture of the sock. What sock? Because there was no sock in the box, okay? It was just the aerosol can. And to answer your question, would I ever use this product again and do I recommend it to you? My answer is going to be no and no. I was not happy with the application, the color, or the way that it made my legs look after the final application. All of the other qualities I was very impressed with, but they need to work on the color. And I feel like there needs to be a company to come out with an entire line of leg makeup. I mean, specifically for legs. Do it like we do with the faces where you provide so many different colors to choose from and something that actually works and looks natural on the skin. Hmm. This is a product that you wish and you hope will work really well. And time and time again, I get disappointed over and over. I mean, this was a much better attempt than stuff I've tried before, but again, I was disappointed by it. Now I will be sticking with my favorite sunless tanner. The one that I swear by is from a company called Tanceuticals. They're not very well known, but it's one of the best sunless tanners I've ever used next to Victoria's Secret, but they discontinued theirs. So I've stuck with Tanceuticals for the past few years and I love it because it doesn't make your skin orange. It fades very naturally. It's really hard to apply too much, especially when you're pale. Three layers gives me such a beautiful, natural looking glow. Love, love, love. I've, like I said, I've been using it for years and I cannot recommend it to you enough if you're looking for a sunless tanner to try. Let me know if you have found a leg makeup product that is actually really good. Would love to hear your recommendations on this topic because like I said, very hard to find. And if you see any products on Instagram that you would like to see me test here, you're more than welcome to tag me and I am always open to checking them out for you. Please subscribe for more Instagram made me buy it videos just like this one. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.